All right, guys. We're going to turn everybody off for just a little bit. We're going to depart right now, and it's going to get cool when we get up to altitude. We're going to climb up to 6,500. Guys, all ready? Yeah. Thumbs up? Yeah. Love you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Talk to you Bye. in a bit. You can still talk to them. All right. You ready, babe? Yeah. Everything is set. Blairsville traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is departing runway 8 to the northwest, Blairsville traffic. Sure is pretty here. Seventeen hundred. Everything is full forward. Everything's looking good. Brakes release. Airspeed's alive. Fuel flows are all normal. Everything's looking good. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Rotate. Tap the bricks. Here coming up. I'm an out of blue line. Western Carolina traffic. Uh, Cherokee 537. Uh, Foxtrot Lima turning, uh, remaining in pattern, turning left uh, crosswind for downwind uh, for uh, runway 26, Western Carolina. Atlanta Center, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie, with VFR request. November 771, Bravo, Charlie, go ahead. 771, Bravo, Charlie, this is Cessna 310, the 15 northwest of Blairsville, climbing out of 5,000 for 6,500. We're going to Aurora, Illinois, Alfa Romeo, Romeo. Number 771, Bravo Charlie, squawk 4146. 4146, 1BC. So, what did you think of Blairsville? It was awesome. It was very pretty. Weather was great the whole time. The RV park was really cool that we stayed at. I've never seen anything like that. Like, it was like half RVs, half cabins. Have you rented a cabin it like had to come with an rv driveway but you could rent an rv driveway they didn't have to come with a cabin that's what they did for your sister and they brought down their rv all about 4206 to maintain one one thousand turn another 10 degrees to the right yeah that pool one there that was fun we spent a lot of time at the pool cooked out some other family come down from where's uncle bill and avis from there from Our rome Murchie. Our Murchie. yeah rome area and then um jeff and connie are from where Winder, Georgia. Winder, Georgia. They all drove up. Uh, Forty-two zero six. Their sister and Matt and the kids. They're from. What that? One point two six. Um, I think Cumming, Georgia. Cumming, Georgia. It's really pretty. I mean, you guys. Hopefully, it all turns out. But the airport is nestled in the the mountains, the Blue Ridge, Smoky, you know, it North was, Georgia. Mountains. The RV park was right next to the airport. Like right next to it. Yeah. So we got to watch all the like Truth pattern traffic. Kilo, Bravo, traffic. 11 o'clock, 8 miles, southwest runs in Amber, 1-2000 for 1-1000. That's a busy little airport. I mean, sort of. Yeah, there was a, o'clock, definitely a lot going on there. Very GA airport. Yeah, or an uncontrolled airport. They built that brand new terminal. They built that brand new terminal. I took some footage of that. Hopefully it turns out. That FBO was so pretty. Did you take footage of the FBO? Yeah, I did. All right, guys, hopefully this turns out, but in the video that we did before, where we flew down to the grandparents' house, we just so happened to fly directly over the top of this airport. It's Mike November Victor, Monroe County. And there it is. We are perfectly over the top of midfield. What's up, guys? 
Um, Colbert wanted to say something once more. Hey, Colbert. How many minutes more? <laughs> Um, well, it's oh. one hour and 40 minutes, baby. That's so long. Yeah, but, you know, we're going all the way across the United States of America. It's a big country. Colbert, do you want your blanket? And we can try and take a quick nap. It'll go by a lot faster. You want to try and do that? Sorry, I can't reach the blanket. I'll get it for you. A little bit of a headwind. Ground speed's 176 knots. We picked 6500 to be below. Um, we're down in the one to four knot headwind range. It's four to seven up higher, so. What the heck? We'll stay down here. I never complained when we're in the 170, so... Control account has weather information. Connect to Sigma 6-3 Charlie for Missouri, Arkansas. Connect to Sigma 6-2 Central for Indiana, Illinois, Iowa. Connect to Sigma 6-1 Central, Illinois, Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska. Available 5 ice cream. We do get spoiled sometimes, though, with those 200 knot ground speeds. Oh. 3771 Bravo Charlie, contact global approach 134.15. 3415, 1 Bravo Charlie, thanks. Thanks. Speaking of getting spoiled, I'm getting spoiled by the uh, the way that you type in the frequencies on this is so much better than flipping yeah. those knobs. Ah, uh, it's so easy just to type 3450. Louisville approach to the 771 Bravo Charlie via part 6500. 771 Bravo Charlie approach altimeter 3007. 3007 1BC. So, we're going into the shop on the 19th? Yeah. A week from tomorrow. So, essentially, this is coming out. This is coming out. This is going to slide down to where that is. This will be fixed, and we'll be able to have our radar working on this this plate. You're on guard, sir. Sorry about that. Okay. I think. And then the new, tell me that it's dead. the new IFD 540 is going on top. Contact any center 124.77. Direct tab. Contact any center 124.77. 2477, one Bravo Charlie. Have a good one. Wow. Any center twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, VFR 6500. Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie Indy Center, Bloomington Altimeter 3008, maintain VFR and advise prior to any altitude changes. 3008 Wilco 1BC. Uh, so they're going to put the thing here. Yeah, it, it's going to look exactly like this, and you'll have it right there. And it'll be yours. You can zoom in and out, traffic, you can put frequencies in, flip flop. Is it the same the thing as that, or is it different? It's the exact same thing as this, except it doesn't have this button. Okay. It's the only difference. You don't have the synthetic vision. It's the same thing, the IFD 540. So, you'll be able to switch map view and, you know, all the different stuff that you want to do. Um, and then, like, when they give us a transponder code, you could just put it in there. We'll have it, like, right here, just like when I touch the frequency, and we type in the frequency, there'll be a spot right below it where you touch the transponder, and you just type in 4146, and if they tell you to ident, there's an ident button or whatever. So nothing else is moving. Everything is the where it's going to be. Target 981, cross the Targo, at a main thing, 1,000. Pretty close. And then they're going to cut the panel. This is going to go below this, so that'll be where it is. This will slide up to right here, so that these two will be right across from each other and look nice. And then this will be right here. And then that's it. These two things will be gone. And then they'll cut a new panel. These two things will be gone? What? These two things. Those two things are going to be gone? Yes. Any center on boy 45, Niner, go. Okay. We don't need three GPSs. So, Envoy of 459, go. this is Any gone. It's going to be replaced by the other one of these. Two, three, zero. This is a transponder. Direct we don't need two, this three, because zero. we're going to have a remote transponder where you can input it all onto the IFD. 
And in addition to that, the new transponder, we're going to get the SkyTrack 605 Alpha system from Avidine, which gives us active traffic. Uh, so we'll have ADSB in, ADSB out, plus active traffic. So all these planes that we keep getting traffic calls on that we don't see, we'll be able to see. Are they doing a new panel on this, yes, on this thing or no? On the, on the, what about this visit? Or is that later? Yes. This visit. So that's what this new panel will look like. And then over here, we're just keeping these eight things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to swing over here. And then it's going to look just like that. And all this other stuff's going to be gone. Gyro slaving, marker beacons, all these little patches and holes and crap, this old DME thing, all it's that's going to be gonna gone. Be like these post lights are all going to be gone. They'll sure just be clean. They're going to be heavy on, it's but still going to be like, like, like nine. gray. I think yeah, uh, supposedly they'll paint all three to match. The but yeah, it'll be the gray color. The is, but uh, you can expect a different runway. Dad. Yeah, baby. Um, how many minutes longer? <laughs> it's just an hour and five minutes, baby. It's getting a lot closer. The, the next time that we talk about it, it'll be less than an hour, and it'll just be minutes. Okay? You guys are good flyers. Yeah, but I don't... I, don't, I just want to listen to the um, air traffic control now. That's fine. We'll listen to air traffic control now. You just, don't, you just can't be too loud. Okay. The thing came off of his boom, too. I will try to repair it when we land. Uh, uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, Holman approach. Mysterious Holman. That's not even a place. Yes, it is, Jamie. Where's Hol Where's Holman in me Indiana? Uh, I don't know, but it's a thing. I like your shirt. Ten pilot. What's your shirt say, Tacoa? Ten pilot. Three ten pilot. They're doing the whole shebang on the panel, and then I'm gonna get my visors. Yes, and they're supposed to install the rods and sun visors. You can put those wherever. Although, keep in mind, when you do put them right here, people won't be able to see through them, but. It'll be maneuverable, like when you're sitting over here with the sun, you know, like you could pivot it yeah. over here. That'll be cool. Yeah. Dad? Yeah, baby? Um, we get home, can, when we get at the whole airport, can we find the black thing for my headphones? Absolutely. Daddy will take good care of it. Okay. You can beat feet as quick as you want, though, babe, when we get on the ground. So this, this beeping thing, thing is the new thing that you're going to start saying on a regular basis. Oh, have I ever said that before? You're back. You said it to the guy, to the uh, Saratoga. Oh. North 772 traffic, no factor, contact. You've never heard it? Yeah, no, I've never heard you say that before. Ever. 772 traffic, no factor, contact, and champagne approach, 121. There's us going around I that think it's store. Under. And... That's out the window view, and here's a, I don't know if that will even turn out at all, but there's the iPad view of the same storm. It's cool seeing these little, like, flowy, long, like, vapor-looking clouds. Yeah. Just a little bit of cloudage that was spit out from that storm system. Still, it's very smooth, just an occasional chop Whiskey. here and there. There we go. We got it. It's all over. Ow. All right, babe, we're starting now. Excellent. Man, that is dark. Darkness. Probably muffy. 300 foot per minute. Just rate of descent. Oh, we're losing the Baby. Ready to just land. Be on the ground. He will for sure fall asleep in the truck. Yeah, he's almost out. Oh, show. Number 771 Bravo Charlie, contact Chicago for 119.35. 1935 on Bravo Charlie, good day. Right. 
sorry. We got Charlie, babe. Chicago Post Wind says a 771 Bravo Charlie VFR descending up through 4,500 for Aurora. We have Charlie. The 771 Bravo Charlie Chicago Approach, Roger Midwell, altimeter 3002, runway 27 is in use. 3002, runway 27, copy, thanks. Approach 1 Bravo Charlie has the airport inside. Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, Roger, radar services are terminated. Contact Aurora Tower 120.67, nice day. 1 Bravo Charlie, switch a good day. Or 9 Southeast. Aurora Tower Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie is 9 to the Southeast, inbound for landing, runway 27, we have Charlie. Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie, Aurora Tower, if you could square your base to final runway 27, you're going to be number 3 following a Cessna 140 currently in the left downwind for runway 27. Square on the base, number 3, runway 27, for 1 Bravo Charlie. Two or three, four, Victor, you have that Cherokee traffic inside the bottom of my final straight in for runway huh? 27. Who did he say three, four, Victor just got that traffic inside? I don't know. Three, four, Victor, three. runway 27, clear for the option, number 2, following the Cherokee traffic. Clear for the option, 27, number 2. Three, four, Victor. Alright, you're going to hear me this guy's got a problem. Charlie, runway 27, clear to land. Runway 27, clear to land, November 1, Bravo, Charlie. That's yeah, perfectly, Trump. And Aurora. Uh, Venture 353 is ready to go at 27. Venture 353, Aurora Tower, hold short of runway 27. Holding short. Well, I guess we should. Well, I can't really angle in because I kept it fast. Yeah. Venture 353, runway 27, last and wait. Traffic is on the uh, four mile base for runway 27, that's one Cessna. Alright, say the game, I'm going to hold here. Number 353, runway 27, clear for takeoff, uh, right turn out to the north as approved. Okay, clear for takeoff, 353, thank you. Whee! Alright, three in the green. So gas, fuel pumps are on low. Southwest. Yeah. Deviating around the weather. Fuel on the main. Undercarriage, we got three in the green. Make sure some props are all set how I like. Yeah, but when he told me to square it off, I was like, oh, I'll just keep it high and fast. Definitely south winds. You can see we got a bit of a crab going on here. Yeah, for sure. All right, we're on speed. We're on glide path. Venture 353, contact Chicago, departure 133.5 for flight following. Okay, 33.5, thank you, sir. Cessna 34, Victor, traffic you're following is currently over the numbers of twin Cessna. Got that traffic in sight, 34, Victor. Cessna 34, Victor, runway 27, clear for the option number two. Clear for the option number two, 34, Victor. Uh, I deserve that coming down. Two uh, one Bravo Charlie, can you make one eight? Uh, negative, we need one five. Two system one Bravo Charlie, Roger, turn left on runway one five, left on alpha, attack the parking via alpha and cross runway one eight, monitor ground point seven. One Bravo Charlie, we'll go. That was not my best landing. Ugh. That's a three four victor, go around and sidestep right, please. Stepping right, going around, 3 4 Victor. I didn't know they were that tight on us. I didn't either. <clears throat> I'm a failure.
Sorry about that, guys. Oh, I slept through all of it, so. Oh, he was talking on the radio. Oh. <laughs> He's about to go around. Yeah, Carson thought you were saying sorry to him. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I didn't really apologize. <laughs> Um, no, she. He said, just, "You see the traffic." She's like, "Yeah." He said, "Follow him." So that was. She yeah. turned tight on us like that, like that. That was all on her. Yeah. Well, welcome back to home sweet home, Aurora, for our family reunion trip, 2019, down to the Georgia Tennessee border. We're home. We made it home. Had the boys with us. They all did a good job. Some yeah. have headsets, some don't, some are sleeping. They were good. They were very good. And we have our police friend who likes to watch the channel and says hi. Oh, He's yeah, down here. Careful. Airport, checking out the airport, making sure everything is safe and secure here. We appreciate Sugar, Sugar Grove Police. Sugar Grove 5 0. Well, we had another nice guy that came up from. Um, when we were down there in Blairsville, he has a bonanza on the south side of the ramp. Him and his wife said they were fans of the channel and saw us out there. Came and said hi. That was really cool. Nice to meet you. We'll be back at some point, maybe. Blairsville's a cool town. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The biggest thank you we can get. We sure do appreciate you guys. And thanks for all the nice comments. Keep the comments coming. We like to read them and Kevin tries to reply to a lot of them. Hit the thumbs up. Thanks again. See you next time. See you guys.